you talked before about uh, weighing the risk reward of running differently this year coming off the injury. This last game, an example of, of in a stretch run in the postseason, uh, this is probably going to be more a part of, of who you were and who you were before than it was of the early part. I um, mean, yeah, if uh, there's an opportunity to run, I'm um, obviously – this this back part of the season, uh, heading into the playoffs, everything matters. So I mean, uh, playing that way, preparing that way, um, yeah. If those are running lanes are there, but obviously I'm still be smart and taking the contact and those type of things. But um, yeah, w w when it's uh, when it's needed, when the when the lanes there, um, I'm not going to hesitate. Which is this a marriage to game statement gave you guys for considering uh, this is a playoff team? Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, for sure. This is you just said, as a playoff team. This is a team that we could see in the uh, see, we could see next month or so. So you want to make sure that um, yeah, we come out and we play our best ball. This is uh, this is almost no different than a division opponent that you you you're playing twice. Uh, sure, we're not guaranteed to play them again, depending on how the, the tournament seeds out, but uh, it, it could happen that way. So um, this is a talented team. I mean, they're, obviously they were the number one seed for a, a, lar a large part of this this year, deservingly so, just with the talent, with the scheme, with the coaches they have. And uh, they've got our respect, but we're going to come out there and we're going to be the enforcers uh, and put our best football forward. Yeah, Trayvon was talking to us about how he still doesn't feel like he's fully mastered DB the way he had receivers. Do you guys talk much about what that's like, or is he asking you what you're seeing? I mean, we yeah, we go back and forth, um, whether it's at practice, uh, just competing, whether it's vert in one on ones or in two minute, whatever it is. And um, that's just the, the standards and expectations he has for himself of um, I don't know if there's many people in this game that have mastered their position, um, may maybe the maybe the quarterback over in Tampa. But other than that, um, I think we're all we're, we're all still students and we're all trying to learn and and get better. And I'm sure that guy would say the same. So, I mean, uh, that's just uh, that's just the way that you have to approach this game. That's the way that you have to respect your opponents and respect the coaches and respect game plan and just know that there's so much more that you can learn. You haven't seen, especially as a young player like he is, uh, but he's going to continue to to work and prepare in the right direction to be the best that he can. And one more note on your running. Zeke said he thought it was the best he'd seen you run since your injury. Did you feel like that was the best you've run since then? And if so, what did that feel like to be doing it in game speed rather than in practice? Yeah, I mean, I think it is. And I just think it comes from um, – a lot of months of of taking care of my body, of prehabbing, rehabbing when injuries when injuries came up, but in the same sense, staying ahead of everything and making sure that that my leg is uh, positioned the right way, my body feels great, uh, doing all the little necessary things and the different modalities that I have uh, in place to make sure that I'm feeling feeling the best that I can uh, in the in the latter part of the year, and uh, it's just uh, feels feel, feel fortunate and blessed uh, to be feeling as as well as I do this late in the year. Why would you take over the pregame huddle? Why was it something that you wanted to do? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I just I think in a way, uh, as a leader, I was kind of moved to do it. Um, something I've always watched guys like Drew Brees and um, guys that I've looked up to take that huddle. But in the same sense, uh, Jalen obviously had the huddle, and then when he uh, when, when when he left, uh, some of the guys just told me I needed to do it, and so. Um, as a leader, when, when another leader or somebody else asks you to do something, you don't hesitate. And so um, when the guys were being receptive to it and that's what they wanted, um, yeah, it was a no-brainer for me uh, to take it over. And at that point, it's, it's something easy for me to, to, to do and something that I just get another chance to talk to the guys and talk to the defense and special teams, guys that I may not talk to as much just during the week with the preparation, just kind of let them know how I feel and um, let them know that who they're going to war with and that we're all in this together. Is the message the same every week, or do you try and come up with something a little bit different? Um, I wouldn't say the message is, is, is the same every week. Uh, obviously, in the back end of the year, these games mean a little bit more, so you can tailor it to what the game means. Um, so, so at that point, yeah, in a sense, it's a little bit different. If there's a message that pops in my head throughout the week or, or that Saturday, I'm going to use that. But for the most part, um, it's just a cultivation of everything that, that I believe in about this team and what the moment takes and what the moment needs. And, um, yeah, I just let the passion show and go. You talked about how you've been looking, running the ball. How does Zeke look the last couple of weeks uh, to you? Yeah, I mean, he's looked great. Uh, obviously, he's uh, he's – 
I feel like he's getting through this injury and getting through just um, the, the pain or the things that he may be feeling. Uh, and obviously the brace has helped. He'll tell you that. And I think we all can see that just watching him. So, I mean, he, he's always been a confident player and just more and more confident these last couple of weeks just uh, with his knee and with the things that he can do and it's showing. How do you like the, the diversity of so many different guys scoring for you? Especially on offense. Yeah, I mean, it's great. If anybody loves it, I think it'd be me, just knowing that I can uh, get get the ball to so many different guys, whether it be an offensive lineman or uh, a couple of tight ends or to the running backs. And uh, everybody knows we have the plethora of receivers that we have that are capable of making plays. So, um, yeah, it's it's exciting. It's exciting for myself, exciting for, for this team. Uh, I'm sure the play caller of just knowing that, uh, that there's a lot of weapons, but we've got to make sure that we're – um, we're staying focused, and, and everybody else, all the other 10 uh, guys are doing their job. So uh, when a guy's number is called, he can go make the most and be his best. Dak, obviously Kyler Murray gets a lot of attention when you talk about the Cardinals. But defensively, Chandler Jones, Buda Baker, Isaiah Simmons, all very unique guys yeah. um, at their respective positions. In what ways does the defense challenge a quarterback most, this defense? Yeah, this is a great defense. Um, uh, as we, as, as as I know and I've been a part of, and I'm sure a lot of guys have, uh, it, it, the team works a lot better and the offense gets a lot more credit when the defense is is doing the things that they they need to do to get you the ball back. So this is a um, a talented defense that has a, that has a great multiple multi, multitude of scheme that can give you a bunch of different looks. And as you just said, from from up front with the different guys, obviously one of the best pass rushers in the game, Chandler Jones, and the back end, Buda Baker. A guy that's great when he blitzes, a guy that's great in coverage. Uh, they're a talented group, so we've got to make sure that that we come into this game communicating, make sure that we're seeing, all, we're all seeing the same thing on the same page, and then therefore uh, be the aggressors and, and uh, make them play, uh, match our game. Mike McCarthy was talking about Trayvon Diggs and an early impression he got from him in the final practice of training camp his rookie year. He counted four interceptions that Trayvon had that day. Yeah, I don't know about I don't know about four. I I, I, I don't I don't as as a quarterback you move on quick, so I don't necessarily remember two prac two two years ago practice, but he did end the day with two interceptions, uh, and those two were on me. I'll give him that two two minute drives, and yeah, that was not that was one of my first impressions as well as I'd been trying him that whole training camp and a uh, little up and down, more up on his, his end. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get him today. I'm going to get him on a few double moves. And just the way that he played the ball on both of the plays, looked like the receiver on one of them. Uh, yeah, it was incredible. Just showed his, his knowledge uh, for the game, um, his instincts for the game, and then his ball skills. Uh, and I think you're just everybody seeing that today as he continues to get better. You had a whole full camp before then, so maybe you already knew or had an inkling of who Trayvon was and could be, but was that day one that kind of, there was a shift or you know, that, that crystallized in some way for you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, I mean, I'd been going at him all camp long. It was a little up and down, back and forth, and I had some plays, he had some plays, receivers made some catches. Uh, he made some some great incompletions, um, but that that day I made intentions to go at him and to try to get him on some double moves to try to use his aggressiveness against him. And as I said, just the way that he played it, uh, yeah, that's when I, I gave him his credit and said, you know what, we're gonna we've got a, we've got a bright star on that side of the field, and uh, it's special to have now. Knowing it's not easy to get in the position you are now, now Doc. What, what are the conversations like about staying away from parties tomorrow night and just and just kind of in general? the whole COVID approach? Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't think many guys are, are partying right now. Um, we, we understand where we are as a team. Uh, that, that's the great part about the team that we have is the culture, um, the matureness, the, the leadership is, uh, I, I think that goes without saying, but I'm sure we, we, we may mention it um, now that you're reminding me, you know, maybe a young guy or two that, that maybe um, have the inkling to do that. So we'll have to... Uh, yeah, just make sure that everybody understands where we are, where we are in this season, what we're trying to go, what the important um, things are right now. And obviously this thing's, this COVID thing's taken off, so we've got to do the best that we can and, and limit in ourselves and getting in contact with it. What, what's your take on the evolving protocols? Yeah, I mean, my take is just to, 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 to help yourself out as best as you can and help the others out around you. I mean, wear the mask, nothing, nothing's changed in... My perspective of this thing, honestly, is uh, wear your mask, wash your hands, um, be, be smart about yeah about the, the groups that you're getting in contact with and the the numbers of crowds that you're coming you're coming in contact with. And as I said, just yeah, help yourself out the best you can to help out others as well. 
as the leader of this team deck, do you feel like you have to do anything different or carry yourself any differently during this stretch going into how important these games are, or are you just trying to be the same guy you've been all season? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm the same guy. I wouldn't necessarily even say I'm trying to be the same guy. That's, this is who I am. Uh, I think, I, I don't think I'd be the leader that I am if I was a guy that tried to do things or um, tried to, was very, um, I, I don't know, that, that was reaching to do something. So, so others saw that. Uh, I think it's just the way that I carry myself, allow others to, to see that, to see how genuine it is. And um, obviously I'll be more vocal in certain things as we move forward, uh, just with, just knowing things that I wanted to do maybe as a young player to, to now, uh, and just making sure guys understand, as I said, how important the time that we in, uh, that we're in is. Last year when you guys played Arizona, it was the first game that you ended up missing. Uh, where did you watch that game at, and just how difficult was it for you to watch that game? Yeah, it was very difficult for multiple of reasons. Um, that was, uh, yeah, a week after, a week after surgery. Um, I was on my couch, leg propped up probably on some meds um, that, that made it hard to, to watch the game as well. Made it hard just not being a part of it. Made it hard the way that uh, they came out and played um, in our home stadium, some that I think about. And, um, yeah, excited to, to play this team and get this matchup uh, healthy and uh, to be a part of it. Said that, There's Chris. Uh, this game oh, would Jeff. be a playoff atmosphere. Mike said it was a statement game, and CD said that it was a defining game and a defining moment. Mm. What do you say about this game Sunday? I agree with all those guys. Um, I think it's a big game, most importantly because it's our next game and it's the ne uh, next opportunity that we have to go out there and, and to be our best uh, and to put our best foot forward and our best game for it, and especially coming off of a game like last week. Uh, you want to make sure that you're continuing to progress and, and going the right way. So uh, what a great challenge it is to, to, to be trying to trend and grow from last week's game against a great opponent, against a playoff opponent uh, like the Arizona Cardinals. So as I said, I'm excited for the matchup. This team has our respect. And, um, yeah, we're looking forward to go out there and uh, to give them our best shot. Hey, Jack, when you, when you we talk about the Arizona game, watching that from your couch last year, when you think back to this time last year, not being with your team and watching them miss the playoffs. How can you appreciate last week uh, clinching the playoffs and the, uh, the, the division? Yeah, I mean, when you've been through the things that I've been through in life, there's so much in, uh, that, that I do daily that I don't take for granted, that I appreciate, that I realize is a blessing. Um, and whether it's celebrating a division championship with the team um, or getting ready to play a, a playoff game in the regular season uh, with this team. Um, yeah, very, very fortunate to to been through the things that I've went through to to, to make sure that I'm not taking these things for granted. And, um, yeah, just, just blessed, just all the way around. And thankful to be where my feet are, honestly, and um, taking it all in. On a similar note, Amari was saying one of the reasons he was so vocal last week is that he said, I've been in this league seven years. I don't feel like I think I've had a team this talented, and I don't want this moment to pass by. What's that balance of being in the moment in Arizona is your next game, but also making sure everyone's aware of the implications and how rare it is? Yeah, I mean, you want everybody to understand how rare it is. Uh, and that way you don't take the moment for granted. You don't take a play for granted. You understand uh, how important each situation is um, to make sure that you, you're putting your best foot forward and you're taking advantage of the opportunity, but make sure that you don't let it pass by um, with regret. So, I mean, I think it's important for us all to the, the guys that have had some ups and downs and have been through it all uh, in this NFL to, to make sure that these young guys who may not be aware of um, how tough it is in this league uh, to get to these moments and to have a team like we have to make sure that, as I said, we're, we're making the most of it and we're, we're going to play our best ball when it matters the most because we know that these opportunities don't come around often. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Zach.